Hi Ipsters, welcome back. Thanks for being here. I am talking about my June 2016 Ipsy bag and the items that I received. First up, we're going to talk about the card. This month's theme is Rebel Rebel or Rebel Rebel. Tomato Tomato. Tag, Ipsy says you're it. Misfits, rule breakers, badass babes, the riot starts this June. We're hitting the streets with serious sizzle and signature looks. Coloring outside of the lines is encouraged. Sitting on the side of the lines is not. You can show your Rebel Rebel style, tag Ipsy, June Glam Bag, plus a friend to keep the throwdown going. Always read your card. They always have something going on, and it's usually something that you can participate in to some degree. So fun, fun. I like that aspect. So as we probably all know, this month's bag is super fun. It's like a very brightly colored graffiti looking bag. Um, I wasn't sure about it, but now that I have it in hand, I actually really like it. It's really bright and fun, very summery. And as for the items I received, first up is something I'm actually wearing, is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Swerve, which basically is black. Um, just to show you, you can kind of see it. I personally like how thin the line was for me personally. I've never actually used a cream gel liner in a pencil before, so this is really cool. I actually really like this in the pencil. And here's the amount of product that you receive, which is actually, I think that's a pretty good amount of product. And I really like how smooth it goes on. It's a good line. It was thin for me, so I really like it so far so good. So the next one up is funny because I thought this was another bronzer. I'm happy to report that it is a baked highlighter. Now I still don't know if I can totally use this but I am excited because it is a very light pink. This is what it looks like. Open it up. Very very it's almost like a pinky peachy color. Just to give you an idea you can kind of see you really can't see it <laughs> um, so I'll swatch it again here and you still really can't see it it's very 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 light so for me this is good because I might actually be able to use it <laughs> so kind of excited to try this out different product for me the next item up I'm also wearing it is the meat Matt Trimini uh, matte eyeshadow palette. I like it. It comes in this little box with the magnetic kind of closes shut there. And when you open it, the color is matte Kumar. Now it is a very different color in my opinion. It's darker. This is a color that kind of struck me something that I would wear for fall um, because it, it has a lot of colors going on with this. It looks very um, you know, I, I see like brick red, maybe some purple, like deep purples, like, I mean, there's just a lot I think going on here. So I'm going to swatch it here for you and you can kind of see that it is a bit darker and this is a second swatch over it. Definitely gets a little darker. So I am wearing it, but I do just FYI, I do have another sh uh, shimmery shadow on top of it to kind of lighten it up because for me, it was a little too dark for me, probably because I'm just so, I'm so wide I glow in the dark. So it's like my fair skin, I have to be real careful about dark colors on my eyes for some reason. So I put a shimmery eyeshadow over it and I was happy because you can still see the color, but it tones it down enough, but you can still see it. And I think it looks pretty good. I wasn't too sure about this little guy here, but definitely like it and it's definitely something I will keep around for the fall because even though we're in summer and they're giving this in our summer bag in June, I think this is more of a fall color, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Next up, I have actually never received this kind of product from Ipsy before and it is uh, from BioRepublic. It is the Pomegranate Crush and Cucumber Breeze. Uh, it's, what is it? The Soothing Fiber Mask. Now, I am super excited to try these because honestly, I love facial masks. I don't think you can get enough of them. So I'm super excited to try them. Can't wait. Thanks, Ipsy. That was a home run, I think. Well, at least I hope, but I don't really think you can go too wrong with masks. And I love cucumber and pomegranate's gonna be really interesting. So hopefully I like the smell of that, but totally digging that I got some facial masks because yay, can't wait to try them. 
And my last, but certainly not least item, and I think is my favorite item in this month's bag, is the Japanesque uh, Solid Brush Cleanser, a gentle goat milk cleansing balm for your brushes. Um, it's actually a good size, because that's like the size of my palm almost. And I am super excited to try this because I love brush cleansers and I am always looking for one that will wow me. I like the smell, it's very clean, and it's just, you know, it's, it's almost like a, a balm, like a, like a, um, a less consistent balm, like lip balm, but you can't really use it. Not, not that creamy, but I do like it. I like the smell. So I'm excited to try that as well because you can never have too many brush cleansers, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's it for me. That was my bag. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. And let me know what you got in your bag. How did, how did your compare to mine? Did you like yours? Did you not like yours? I don't know. It's always a toss up and that's what I like about Ipsy because even though you can look online, you kind of never know what you're going to get because like I said, I looked online before and I was like, eh, I don't know. But then when I got the items, I was like, Oh, okay, I like this. So you never know, just give it a shot. So yeah, super excited to see how all these work. Well, the ones I haven't tried. And anyway, that's my bag, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time.